Good morning and welcome to St. Matthew's and morning prayer on this Monday, the 14th day of December. Today we're going to celebrate the life of Lucia, Lucy, uh, whose feast day is actually on the 13th. It occurred on Sunday, but we are going to move it to uh, this day on Monday and celebrate her life together. Morning prayer right one begins on page 42 of the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We continue with the invitatory psalm. This morning we'll read together the Jubilate on page 45. O be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. We continue with the psalm appointed for today. That is Psalm 131, which can be found on page 785 of the prayer book. O Lord, I am not proud. I have no haughty looks. I do not occupy myself with great matters or with things that are too hard for me. But I still my soul and make it quiet, like a child upon its mother's breast. My soul is quieted within me. O Israel, wait upon the Lord from this time forth forevermore. We continue with the gospel passage for today. It is from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, beginning at the ninth verse. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. The word of the Lord. And we continue with Canticle 19. Find it here, uh, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lucy, or Lucia, was martyred at Syracuse in Sicily during Diocletian's reign of terror in the years 303 to 304. Among the most dramatic of the persecutions of early Christians. Her tomb can still be found in the catacombs at Syracuse. She was venerated soon after her death and her cult spread quickly throughout the church. She is among the saints and martyrs named in the Roman canon of the mass. Most of the details of Lucy's life are obscure. In the tradition, she is remembered for the purity of her life and the gentleness of her spirit. Because her name means light, she is sometimes thought of as the patron saint of all those who suffer from diseases of the eyes. In popular piety, Lucy is perhaps the most revered because her feast day, December 13th, was for many centuries the shortest day of the year. The reform of the calendar by Pope uh, Gregory VIII in 1582 would shift the shortest day to de December 21st or 22nd, depending upon the year. 
It was on Lucy's day that the light began gradually to return and the days to lengthen. This was particularly powerful in Northern Europe, where the days of winter were quite short. In Scandinavian countries, particularly Sweden, Lucy's Day has long been a festival of light that is kept as both an ecclesiastical commemoration and a domestic observance. In the domestic celebration of Lucia feast, a young girl in the family dresses in pure white, a symbol of Lucy's faith, purity, and martyrdom, and wears a crown of lighted candles upon her head, a sign that on Lucy's day the light is returning, and serves her family special foods prepared especially for the day. In praise of her service, the young girl is called Lucy for the day. We continue our service by saying together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit let us pray. We begin with the Lord's Prayer, followed by suffrages B. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. We continue with the collects for the day, beginning with the collect for Lucy. Loving God, who for the salvation of all didst give Jesus Christ as light to a world in darkness, illume us with thy daughter Lucy, with the light of Christ, that by the merits of his passion we may be led to eternal life through the same Jesus Christ, with thee and the Holy Spirit liveth and reigneth one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Heavenly Father, in whom we live and move and have our being, we humbly pray thee so to guide and govern us by thy Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget thee, but may remember that we are ever walking in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of thy faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before thee for all members of thy holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and godly serve thee, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Take a moment to offer our prayers and thanksgiving. In this season of Advent, as we wait for the coming of a Savior and celebrate this uh, day of light, St. Lucy's Day. We give thanks for all those people who have been lights in our lives, that have illuminated and brightened our path and shown us a way. We give thanks for our Christian communities that have supported us. We give thanks for family and friends. We pray for our country and the world. Take a moment to invite your prayers and thanksgivings. Gracious God, for all our prayers spoken and those that reside deep in our hearts, we lift them up to you this day. We conclude our prayers by saying together a prayer of St. Christostom. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, 
and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, that will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining Morning Prayer today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless.